Hi, this is VK5LY, Larry, in uh, Renmark in the Riverland of South Australia. With our first attempt at a YouTube video, uh, showing the, how we've constructed uh, up here in the Riverland a, a hotspot, a node adapter hotspot. The cameraman here is Ivan, VK5HS. Our idea was to try and get a portable node uh, adapter uh, arrangement so that we could use as a hotspot and take with us on, on our travels and uh, use uh, uh, wherever uh, uh, we were and uh, using the 3G network as the, as the carrier. To point out the components to you, firstly we have used a, uh, a little uh, box available from King Chrome, roughly about uh, 8 inches by 5 inches, very similar to a Pelican case and uh, for this application does the job extremely well. We have mounted in that our, uh, our node adapter and uh, uh, transceiver, mounted on a folded piece of aluminium which also acts as the heat shield for the, uh, uh, for the transceiver, which in this case is actually a data, uh, a data radio, an FC301, available from uh, Argent Data Systems in the States. The node adapter itself is uh, a Moen board, which you can see in the uh, clear plastic case here. The, uh, both are powered from a 12 volt uh, connector here, which in this case is actually running off a, uh, a 12 volt uh, gel cell battery. It is also capable of being powered from 240 volts through the uh, plug pack here, which is a uh, 2.5 amp plug pack available from JCAR. Uh, very good uh, plug pack and uh, very good for this type of application. The trans transceiver or the data radio is actually in this configuration is talking to a, uh, <coughs> a heat sink, uh, heat sink 50 ohm resistor here acting as a dummy load. Works extremely well and uh, uh, we can get about a hundred metre radius out of this and uh, for uh, our applications, that's uh, that's that's very good and uh, rough. Uh, really, uh, that's about all we need. The data modem itself is capable of running from one to five watts. Uh, we're running it on the low power of one watt, and so we, even with one watt into the dummy load, uh, has quite a uh, quite a usable range. The whole system will uh, lift up. I'll show you the chassis mount comes. will sit in the case. There's one complete unit like that for travel and uh, there's plenty of storage space at the front part here that we can put the plug pack and the other uh, leads and the uh, uh, cables that we need will we'll all fit in there quite neatly. The whole thing can close up, it's dust proof and waterproof and uh, with a little bit of padding that we have in the top here it's quite uh, shock proof as well. In our application here we're using a a notebook computer, in this case it's a triple E PC, and we're running <coughs> the, uh, the Dutch Star uh, WinDV program, uh, which you may be able to see running on the screen there at the moment. Uh, we'll just get that back up. The actual modem itself is running the uh, Dutch Star firmware, so the two uh, together run extremely well. On the side of the, plugged into the side of the uh, uh, notebook you can see is the 3G Telstra dongle which is providing the internet connection for this setup. Obviously the limitation on the whole system is how good your 3G coverage is and uh, using the Telstra network uh, which has got a pretty good coverage uh, we don't seem to have had any problem with that. Very little latency and uh, uh, very few dropouts so uh, all in all it's, uh, it's done us extremely well. To show you how the uh, system operates, using the ID31 handheld here, uh, we have the uh, system hooked up to, or linked up I should say, to the DCS2 uh, Zulu, which is the, uh, uh, one of the echo, uh, echo reflectors available through the DCS network. Okay, it up, yes I can see. This is VK5 Lima Yankee testing, Victor Kilo 5 Lima Yankee testing. Testing one, two, three. Yes, I can see. This is very 
Big A5 Lima Yankee testing. Victor Kilo 5 Lima Yankee testing. Testing 1, 2, 3. Well, that, uh, that test showed that the, uh, it is working extremely well. We've been extremely impressed with its capability so far and uh, we think it uh, provides quite a good solution for a portable operation. This is VK5 Lima Yankee from uh, Renmark in the Riverland of South Australia. Thank you for watching.